Hi everyone, it's Saturday the 28th of May and the time is 2 o'clock in the morning. Now, I've got four more laptops to show you. Now as you'll remember from the previous video, um, I got a haul of laptops last weekend at a local car boot sale. <clears throat> um, it's the late one over at Alsham. Um, I got what I now consider a very good deal. Anyway. Um, yeah, I managed to bring the rest back from Mum, so I'm going to show you those ones first and then I'll update you quickly on the rest of them. So, um, yeah, only four. Would have been five, but I decided to break the fifth one for parts over at Mum's because I was going to break it for parts anyway and I just thought, save on space and weight in my backpack, I might as well sit and do it at Mum's. Someone had taken a hammer to it. <clears throat> so, I don't think the motherboard's going to work, even though it survived the beating, somehow. I'm guessing the laptop got a beating because it stopped working, or it ticked someone off for some reason, I don't know. Motherboard might still work. I did um, take everything out of it that I needed to try the motherboard, so should be able to connect it to an external monitor and find out. Anyway, let's uh, chit chat, more um, showing. So here we go. Right. <clears throat> the first one. This is very nice. Dell. I, I like this one. So much that I've actually set it up so I can use it in the bedroom. Um, I've installed an SSD, unfortunately I can't put the cover on because with this cover on, the SSD won't plug into the connector at the back it's almost like it gets too short, so <laughs> that is off, it's secured in, I've put the screws in or screw in to hold the SSD, but other than that <laughs> but yeah, I really like the colour of this I've always wanted a small laptop to use at night in the bedroom. I didn't want a bloody great big one. I mean, I could. I've got plenty to choose from. Still got the blank. Now, this one did have hard drive in. Didn't have any RAM in. But I did try these um, Dell laptops over at Mum's. I did take a power supply with me. Um, this one and one of the other Dells in this pile um, was exactly the same. No RAM. But I bought it home, put the RAM in, Boot it up, perfectly fine. Couldn't go any further um, than the login screen because I didn't have the password. Because this one was password protected. In fact, a number of these laptops were exactly the same. Anyway, this one does charge and it's held charge. So here we go. I'll turn this one on quickly. <clears throat> I think this has only got 128 gig SSD in it, but. For what I want to use this particular machine for, that's more than enough. I don't plan to download anything with it. It's literally just so I can sit in bed at night. Maybe with the TV on, you know, DVD or something. Um, the radio on and just chill with Facebook or maybe watch Netflix. <clears throat> um, this one has currently got 6 gigabytes of RAM installed. I'm hoping I can upgrade that to at least 8, although I don't think I really need to because it's working fine. This mouse pad's a bit worn. I'm pretty certain that's why it's a bit slow to move. Because this has got one of those little uh, knobbly things here which moves the cursor completely fine, so I'm just assuming it's a worn out mouse pad, but I'd probably use a uh, USB mouse anyway. <clears throat> you just want to quickly um, bring up the specs for you all. I'm not going to turn them all on because we'll be here all, all night. <clears throat> right, where's system? I've got to scroll down. Yes. Can we scroll down please? Thank you. There it is. If you're wondering why I'm not using the little knobbly thing, it's because I hate using them things. Oh, it's just logged me in the Discord. 
<laughs> so this is running an Intel Core 2 Duo, which is a P9400 for those that may want to Google it. And it's a 2.4 gigahertz processor. Uh, 6 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, 64-bit OS. <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I'm actually looking forward to uh, sticking that over in the bedroom. It might actually come in handy for when I'm doing things on the uh, model railway as well. So we'll shut that one down. But uh, seriously, out of all the Dells that were in this job lot, that's the only one that held hold a charge. Um, <clears throat> I've got two more that won't, because the batteries are dead, and the other two haven't got batteries anyway. Oh, there we go. So yeah, I'm quite looking forward to uh, curling up in bed with that one. Next up, an HP. Missing batteries, so I'm going to have to plug this into the mains. Couldn't try this one at Mum's because I didn't take an adapter that fit. It is pretty clean and tidy. Got some wear on the chrome paint or whatever it is along the edge here. Needs a bit of a clean. Um, but to the best of my knowledge, this is the only DDR2 laptop here. All the others take DDR3 RAM. <coughs> Anywho, are we still plugged in? Uh, no. So let me just plug in. Ooh, that made a spark. I love when I make a spark. Although I haven't said that, I oh no, this one isn't going to charge anything. I've got battery. I'm thinking of another one. Oh no, I've just plugged. I've got hold of the wrong one here. That is for the Acer, which I'll show you a little bit later. Plug it in, and on the side here. It's got one of them little uh, slidey power switches, just flick it like that. <coughs> now, I didn't install Windows 10 on this. I literally bought it at home, found the power supply that fit it, plugged it in, turned it on, Bob's your uncle. Um, the only thing I did do is change the RAM. It had 3 gigabytes of DDR2 fitted, but it was saying only 2.75 of that was uh, usable. So I put 4 gigs in, now it says only 3.75 of that 4 gigs is usable. And for the life of me, I can't remember what that reason is. Or why it's doing that, I should say. Bear with me, it's getting late. <laughs> but uh, I want to do this video. Because I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's not actually a bad system. Um, quite responsive considering um, it's only got a hard drive in it. I don't know what the hard drive is. I don't know how big it is. I haven't looked. Might do that quickly on this one. Ooh. I hate that. Is there any laptop that does that? There we go. So I've got to remember it's got to um, de-highlight the scroll bar. Otherwise I'll keep scrolling. <coughs> well, click that twice. I don't want two of them. Get rid of that one. Uh, now I've got scroll to find system, I think. Nope, it's actually right there. Uh, it's an AMD Athlon Neo X2 dual core processor L335, uh, 1.60 gigahertz, 4 gigabytes of RAM, DDR2 as I said, and previous owner had 64-bit operating system on it. Windows 10. Now I did notice that the fan does ramp up quite quickly on this, just from it sitting like this. So I've got a feeling I'm going to have to um, 
and redo the thermal paste on the processor. What I wanted to do was just bring up this PC and have a look at the hard drive. There's a 300 gig hard drive on this, or well, to be precise, a 297 gigabyte. <laughs> now, that's not a bad drive. I can hear the fan ramping up now, so I'm going to shut it off. Probably going to have to do that to a lot of these laptops actually, just because of their age. I don't know what this button does, but there's a little light beside it. And a symbol on the other side, I can't remember what that does. Next time I turn it on, I'll have to press it and find out. Go on, shut off. Why does Windows 10 do this? It's the only OS I know that does it for that long. Screen goes all black, but then everything else stays on for like, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds afterwards. Right, we'll put this up out of the way. Next. Ow! When I'm done tripping over the recycling bag. Another lovely little doubt. I quite like this one. But just like the i7 model, which is actually hiding under there, it's got a dead battery. <laughs> and there we go, it's actually very clean on the inside. Four gigs of RAM, I think this one's got installed. Um, but again, oh no, I did reinstall Windows on this one because it was one of the ones that had the um, security protection on it. And I've also noticed that these Dell laptops can get quite picky on what adapters you plug in. Especially if it doesn't recognise it as an official Dell adapter. This one is, thankfully, but I did try another adapter I've got here, which is not an official Dell, and my laptops don't like it. <laughs> Apparently it's because it's underpowered. Why does Dell do that? No, nope, it's working now. I think... I don't think this laptop knows what it's doing. Should we try that again? There we go. <laughs> um, RTC mode fix, time and date may be wrong. Yeah, I know the time and date is wrong. Once more. It's an E, um, was it 6400? Yeah. Might, um, I want to upgrade a lot of these to SSDs anyway, so I was just playing around to see if they did actually do anything. But anyway, that one's going to take its sweet time. So here's. Number three of these Dells, the i5, so that's why I wanted all three. And I thought I'd take all three because if one of them or two of them didn't work, I could make a good one out of three. In fact, I've made two good ones out of three. <laughs> this one... This one, again, no battery. i5 is a 1.7 something gigahertz i5. Um, we've got a key missing. We had two keys missing, but the keyboard from the one I broke for parts, because it was dead as a door now, I've actually stole the H key from, and I've got the um, F2 key somewhere, somewhere in the lounge. I just couldn't get it to clip on. But yeah, this one is actually working. I want to do this one for mum. Um, so I do want to get a battery for it, I do want to upgrade the RAM because it's only got 2 gigabytes of DDR3 at the moment. And I do want to put a um, SSD in it, it's currently got a hard drive. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so 
as it sits it is running and this was another one that had the security feature on it which is why I had to reinstall Windows 10 right the last one now is actually a booted up fine <clears throat> I think this one's got a 2.2 gigahertz dual core on it I'm curious so I am going to just quickly bring it up I haven't ran the updates on this one yet have I so or click wall apps Mouse mouse button. It's got one of those little knobby things on there as well and the two extra mouse buttons. I just don't get along with those uh, little knobby things. I don't actually know what you call it. A mouse knob? That sounds wrong. <laughs> Come on. Oh, it was a 2.26 gigahertz. Uh, a P8400 for those that may want to. Uh, two gigabytes of RAM is installed on this one. Why do I keep thinking it's four? But yeah, hopefully I can upgrade this one. So we'll shut this one down and I can update you on the other ones. Right. Um, I'll just grab this one first while I'm shutting down. The little Geo. I've not done anything with this one. It does still power on. The battery has held a charge. Um, what was that? Intel Celeron inside. Um, I am going to plug this to an external monitor just to double check that it does actually output a signal. I am 99.9% .9 certain I have seen Geo on the screen. But I don't know how easy that screen is going to be to... Um, well... A, obtain a replacement and B, actually fit because the, the other one of these I took apart because I had the shad screen the um, pretty certain I said this in the previous video the bezel was actually all glued on as well as well as screwed on so yeah I've not done anything more with that one unplug this one now go over here uh, not really much to say on the i7 I've actually uh, put an SSD in it tonight it's one that I'm going to keep and it's going to go over to mum's once I've given it a clean up and I'll use it over there that's got one of those thingy mice knobbly things there um, it's a 6510 Latitude 6510, we need to claim. Yeah, this one does work. Dead battery on it. Um, I'm not worried about that though, because the chances of me needing the battery over at Mum's are slim to none. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to turn that one on. So, no point really, not unless anybody wants me to. I could do a video turning it on if you like. Next up, the Acer. Now, I thought this Acer needed a power jack because I had to hold you know, the plug on the adapter I was using at just the right angle to get it to work. However, that's not the case. Because when I was on eBay, not only did I buy a replacement power jack, which I have not fitted, it's still taped to the card in the lounge, I also bought a new power supply. And literally, all I did, plug it in, charge light comes on, turn it on, it works. It's got Windows 10 already installed, I didn't even have to do anything like that. Only got 2 gigs of RAM though. <clears throat> and I don't think that can be upgraded. No, it can't, because I did open this up. Um just to see what style of charge socket I needed uh, and to see if the RAM could be upgraded but uh, no it can't 
it's all fixed to the board, there is no upgrade slot, there's not even a drive in there, it's all built into the motherboard. And the thing is, I used to slay Apple for doing things like that. No, Microsoft machines are doing the same thing. I hate that. I like having the freedom of being able to upgrade. <clears throat> you know, and switch hardware and whatnot. But yeah, fully working. Um, I guess you're going to want to know what the specs are. I'm actually curious to know how much storage space this thing has got as well. We'll have a look at that as well. Scroll down, Windows system. Considering it's only got 2 gigs of RAM, it is pretty responsive. <clears throat> it's got Microsoft Edge, which I think, as it's got so little RAM, is probably the better option. Uh, Mozilla Firefox likes to eat your RAM sometimes. I know myself and a friend a couple of months ago was having big issues with my, um, Microsoft. Mozilla Firefox doing that and really slowing our computers down. Um, we got two gigs of RAM. I'm assuming from the start of this laptop that it would be DDR3. <clears throat> 1.6 gigahertz. Uh, it's an Intel Celeron, an N3050. So let's have a look at the storage. So it's not taking too long to load anything I click on. <laughs> really? It's nearly full. But then again, um, it's got 3.5 gigs of free space of a 30 gigabyte drive or 30 gigs of storage. So uh, it's like, this seems like it's got the bottom of the barrel specs. Was this one of HP's... Uh, cheaper models by any chance. Anyway, let's shut it down and we'll move on. Now, next down I will uh, power up for you because it's got a bit of a odd power problem because I, I was going to give this one to mum. Well that makes a difference because this is absolutely identical to the um, other one of these in every way, apart from this one's got an F2 key on. <laughs> the other one hasn't. Um, this seems to have a bit of a peculiar power problem. Don't know if it's the RAM I've got installed because I've got four gigs of RAM installed on this one. It may not do it. It may turn on first time, but not likely. Press the power button. Turn straight off. I did this earlier actually. Press it again. Hard drive and everything winds up and it clicks off. It's a good game this is, isn't it? We press it again. You hear everything wind up and boom. And that's the same pattern every time you turn it on. Every time you plug this in and turn it on. <laughs> I don't know, I just find that quite a weird issue. If it wasn't for that, I would have given this one to Mum. <clears throat> but I'm not going to, because I know she'd moan about it. It's perfectly usable as is, but I know she'll bloody moan about it. <laughs> she'll probably moan about the other one. She'll find something to moan about it. <clears throat> so, yeah. Other than that, it works. I threw a hard drive in it, I threw some RAM in it. I don't think it had any RAM. <clears throat> Installed Windows 10 and Bob's your uncle. A working, temperamental, but working laptop. Right, we're getting there. Next up, this Samsung, which I quite like. Um, I think I did power this up in the other video just to show you that it's got the blemish in the screen. But um, it does hold charge. And it's now got Windows 10 installed. I can't remember how much RAM is installed on it. I don't even know if it's DDR2 RAM or DDR3. 
So this one could actually be DDR2, which would be only the second one out of this job lot that had it. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a big old blemish there. But considering this has got a hard drive in it, it boots up pretty quick, doesn't it? Then again, there's no bloatware or no crap that I've installed or anything on it, so... You can hear the hard drive clicking, but I'm not hearing any other weird noises I should be worried about. It just seems to be the, the normal hard drive click as it's loading everything up. <coughs> I don't even know um, how much storage this thing's got. I, no, I didn't put uh, Windows on this. It was already already had an OS installed. Some of these actually had Windows 7 installed. Yeah, four gigas for that. Four gigabytes of RAM, Pentium dual core, T forty four hundred, two point two gigahertz. I don't know if four gigs of RAM is its max. I am going to open this up at some point just to see. Um, what type of RAM it is. Uh, it never crossed my mind to have a look at the um, hard drive to see how big that is. What have we got? We've got, and according to that, it would round off to about 150 gig drive. It's got 148 gigabytes, 124 gigs free. <coughs> lost my cursor for a second there. Right, uh, I think there's only one more to show you, actually two more. But the next one, once I have to shut these two down, see that one's booted up fine now. If you can see I'll have to bring it closer because you're the laptop was in the way. See, booted up fine. It's like a weird um, power up cycle, that's what this one's got. The other one doesn't do it, so it's got to be an issue with this one. Well, I suppose it's whether or not that issue would uh, annoy you or not. One down, right. Have you shut down? Yeah. <clears throat> right. I have got another Samson, but that wasn't part of this job lot. So I'm just going to do this job lot first. And this one is the last one. Now. I did take the gamble, as you can probably see, and I bought a power adapter, and there's a couple of reasons for that. One, I thought to myself, so far, most of these laptops have worked. I've only scrapped three of them, and counting that Geo at the moment is the only one that needs some attention, if I can fix it. So I thought, you know, I'd go for a gamble with it. So I actually felt quite confident, if I'm honest. And I also thought, you know, this this isn't a genuine Apple adapter, by the way. Um, it was only £15 on eBay. So I thought, you know what, I'll just buy a cheapy one. If it works, great. If it doesn't, sling it on eBay and try and get some cash for it. I'm not sure what I think of the magnetic power connector on this. It can be um, quite finicky at times. Has that actually just turned itself on? I've got my light on. And there's the tone. Give it a little bit longer. We should get a nice white screen screen pop up. Screen even. There we go, and eventually we will get the um, folder pop up with a question mark in it. So it works as far as it powers up and does something. 
but um, I believe the folder with a question mark means it hasn't got a hard, um, an OS on it or it can't find a hard drive or something like that. I have noticed this has got quite a dent on that corner, so I'm, I might actually take the bottom of this and have a look. But it doesn't look like there's actually much room in there to install a hard drive. <laughs> this is actually quite thin. Um, this, I think this particular MacBook Air, at least my research has shown that this is from 2008. But apparently it should run OS X. And uh, thanks to a Discord server I'm on, someone has actually linked me to a web page that gives you instructions on how to set up a USB boot drive and whatnot to reinstall OS X onto a machine like this. And I've just realised the Apple symbol on the back lights up. <clears throat> I'm actually pretty happy that this does this. Um, I never thought I'd hear myself say that about an Apple product because I've always slated Apple just because I don't like how they go about doing their business and how, how they've treated customers and whatnot in the past, you know, and how they make it so difficult to have their products repaired. <clears throat> and I just see, I still see this as overpriced personally. <clears throat> only because I've taken off like 99.9% .9 of all the sockets and ports and things there's literally three on that side that is all you get one I'm not sure what it is one USB port and a headphone jack that is it if you want ethernet you'd have to buy an adapter if you needed a CD drive back then you had to buy one separately doesn't really matter these days because very few people actually use a CD drive, so <clears throat> that's a bit of a moot point these days. <laughs> I suppose not many people use Ethernet either on a laptop, so I guess these days that's also a moot point. But the way I see it is, you know, because I've taken all that stuff off, that would have meant that would have saved on manufacturing cost because that's less stuff they've got to include. So to me, it shouldn't cost what these bloody thing, things cost. <clears throat> That's just how I see it. I, just, I don't know. I just I can't justify the price myself, which is why I've always stuck with you know PCs and laptops. But I'm pretty happy this one works. I am going to try and get it all um, fixed up running because I've never used an Apple computer I would like to actually use one so I have to look into that now the last one is one that I was fixing up uh, but it just wasn't part of that job lot it's just Samson here this is the one that needed a power jack well as you can see, I've got it all put back together, and my god, was this keyboard and mouse a pain in the ass to reconnect. I don't know how they do it in the factories, I really don't. I struggled like hell getting my hands underneath here, trying to get the bloody um, flat flex cables into the bloody sockets. That is one reason I hate doing things on um, some laptops. But I got there in the end, that's working, that's working. I haven't installed Windows or anything on this. No, I didn't charge it either. I don't even know if the battery will take charge. <clears throat> but according to the sticker, that's got the same um, processor on it, or at least it's an Intel Celeron, just like the other one. Windows 7 sticker on it. Now, if I remember rightly, this was password protected as well. This is the one that I got from a friend of my little brother's. You know, he gave me, I think, two laptops and a desktop, which is actually under there. I've got the desktop working, actually. <clears throat> the other laptop, I can't get to do anything, but it's a big, ugly advent anyway, so I'm not too fussed about that one. Um, yeah, let's see if I can get this to do anything. I don't know what RAM's installed on it, I can't remember. 
probably only a couple of gigs because I haven't changed it myself. There is a hard drive in it. Nope, battery's dead. The indicator on I do like these batteries that have this. One, yeah, it's DDR2. I thought it would be being a Windows 7. Why is it? Whoa, it's huge! It's one gig. <laughs> I bet you what you like. I can only upgrade this to two gigs. Might get away with four. I'll tell you what. I've got a lot of googling to do with these laptops just to find out um, what they can be upgraded to because I don't want to go buying RAM for no reason. In fact, I could probably upgrade this um, to two gigs anyway, and I'll just put Windows 7 on it. <clears throat> right, I do believe that is it. Gone through the ball. Curious. Adele has got one. Oh, it's gone off. Hang on. <laughs> Fully charged. <clears throat> I do like that laptop. Yeah, so that is how things uh, stand. Would anyone like to see a complete Wally try and get a um, Apple MacBook Air to work? I say complete Wally because I have no idea what I'm doing with Apple computers. You know. Microsoft, Windows, I can sort those out and get those up and running. But I've never done an Apple one. <clears throat> and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with a lot of these. And I've already decided on one. Actually, I've already decided on three of them, haven't I? One's going in the bedroom, one's going over to Mum's. Well, technically two are going over to Mum's when the other one's been upgraded and whatnot. I don't really know what to do with the other ones. I mean, yeah, they work, but because the specs are so crap and some of them haven't got all good batteries on, there's no value in them, really, is there? So I don't think I could actually sell them. Stick them in the cupboard with the others, maybe? See how many laptops I can get in that cupboard in the bedroom? <laughs> <clears throat> a lot more, actually, if I got rid of the motherboards. I didn't want to take a drink of my can, it's empty. Um, <clears throat> right. Um, I can tell you that the next video is going to be die-cast. Uh, model car related because I have found out recently that one of my subscribers is also interested in um, die cast cars and whatnot and I have actually for a long time wanted to do more videos involving you know my collection as as it's grown quite a lot in the past few years um, <clears throat> and then I I think after that it's going to be another model railway update as I've been um, tinkering around with that. Anyway, I'm probably going to get another drink, sit at the computer for 10 minutes and then go to bed because I'm tired. So, thanks a lot for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.